G'day mate, didn't see you there. Anyway, guess what? I met this Sheila today, her name's Lucia, and mate, 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 she's won a hell of a bona fide bogan, so let me tell you seven things about that lovely Sheila. First off, she's a bit like a bloody kangaroo since her ability lets her jump, that's right, she jumps, but not just any old jump, she wall jumps, that's right, she can jump to walls and then off the walls. She can also glide once she jumps off the wall. Now I know what you're thinking, I ain't never seen a kangaroo float before mate. Well if you're saying that, have I got a story for you mate. Now here's not the place, and it's also not the time, so I'll tell you when you're a little bit older. But what I can tell you right now is she makes one hell of a slippery PvP character. Which brings us all the way over to our next thing, using her Rue Glide to confuse and otherwise bamboozle your opponents. By gliding like a bird of prey that shoots buckshots out of its nostrils and finally sweeping in with a nice little bit of CQC to assert your dominance over them little mices. Number 3. Like any good old bogan, she's got a bit of an addiction. Which would be normal for a bogan if it wasn't the fact that she's addicted to the planet Super Juice. Which gave her the power to levitate while slowly moving in a downwards direction. It also gave her cool Wolverine recovery powers. Kind of. I mean, she can regenerate a lot faster than other characters that aren't war dogs. But I'm not sure if she can actually grow an arm back, although that would be pretty snazzy. Number 4. If you think you're being sneaky hiding behind a wall, I can tell you you're wrong. Because she's always got high stress levels on her stress meter due to her bogan's love addiction to the planet's super juice. Which makes her light up like a Christmas tree when seen through walls. And by light up, I mean doused in gasoline and set ablaze. So rather than trying to be sneaky, use your mobility and health regen to your advantage. And since we're on the subject of mobility, let's shoot over to number 5 with a quick rude jump to the second floor. Just like Alicia can, unless the next floor is blocked by a ceiling or it's stupidly high. She can also clear gaps and obstacles with a relative ease, making you a prime candidate for stealing all the LF before your team gets there. After all, a girl's gotta get her goodies somehow. And so do you. So here's your sixth lolly from the lolly basket. And this one's especially sweet because it involves players not charging gun ho into stacked enemies. Instead, you want to address each different type in different ways. So let's start with the brutes, who become immune to CQC for the price of one Aleph charge. So don't CQC them, instead moonwalk your way to victory while shooting them. While I moonwalk my way to the commander who should be shot outside of his airstrike zone that rains fiery death on those caught in its stunlock boom of impending doom. Which is kinda like the impending doom snipers feel from us, so try not to get close or you'll spook them and then they'll teleport away. Also before you go and teleport away, here is your last lolly from the lolly bag, which carries a large sour taste and a lot of salt from those of us who love to rock and roll. And no, I'm not talking about that old-timey music. I'm talking about the weapon that got nerfed to the ground so hard that all of the r, &R users wanted to bury themselves in the ground with it. But not all is lost, because she's got Smoking Daisy, a hard-hitting crit weapon that will make most enemies cower in fear from the sheer damage of a whole clip being dropped on their head, doing massive damage and doing even more if it crits. Well, well, that's all seven if my primary school math skills are correct. If they're not, you should hit the like button so I can practice counting them. Also, you should share this video and comment so I can count all those as well. And just tell yourself it's in the name of education. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, that's awesome. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one, man. See you.